This week I built something really cool. I created a custom script in Airtable to compress images using TinyPNG. And while there is a third party solution out there, it costs money and it runs through a middleman and I wanted to build something that directly connected Airtable and TinyPNG. And so this is what it looks like. You can click run or you can set it up in an automation and it'll take whatever column you program it with to uh, compress that image and it'll put it in a different column or the same column and I'll show you how to customize it if you guys are interested in using this script. And then it outputs basically what it's working on and then the same thing you see in the UI saying it saved you 74% and how much, uh, how many kilobytes that has saved you. So I'm gonna have this script linked below. I have it in a blog so you guys can go in there. It's coming from this blog here. You can copy out the script, customize it to your needs. Basically, there are the first four variables you need to customize. You need to put in your API key. You need to put in where the images are coming from. So for me, that's the screenshot column. Where they're going to, you can put it as the same column or you can put it in a different column. I just did a different column for demonstration purposes. And then the last one is the Airtable column to log. That is what you're seeing here. So when it says compressing Apple, it's pulling it from the name column. So you go in, you edit the code, you change those first four variables, and now you can directly compress your Airtable images using TinyPNG. You do need to sign up for an account on TinyPNG, but they are free for the first uh, 500 credits. You get 500 compressions a month. After that, you pay for it. So pretty sweet deal. This is free. Go copy the script, put it in your, your Airtable. You do that by going to extensions, which is already open, add an extension, scripting, and then add that and you paste it right in there. And you can be compressing your Airtable images using TinyPNG. It's an awesome automation. I was really stoked that I came up with this this week and I wanted to share it with you. See you guys.